Look good, party, perfect body. Living, laughing, loving, happy. I'm gonna teach you in this video how to do this viral AI anime effect. Now there's four main steps that we need to follow in order to achieve this. Unfortunately, I'm gonna cover all of them in this video. Step one is shooting. Step two is editing in the anime effect. Step three is speed ramping. And step four is motion blur. Change your camera to 0.5 and click record. Move back and forth in extreme angles. Now let's go to step two, which is actually editing your anime effect. You're gonna need the CapCut app for this editing. Go ahead and open it up. If you don't have it, download it off your app store. Once you're in the CapCut app, create a new project and import that video that you just recorded. In all the portions that we are moving around our subject, for instance, in the beginning, I'm going closer here. I'm gonna leave that as is. And once I get close to the subject, right before I stop, which is in this portion, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my clip scroll over to freeze and that creates a three second image that we can add the style effect to once you have this three second go ahead and drag it right down to as short as you can make it once you're done with your first one scroll a little bit ahead as you can see the motion starts here and we're going to create the same effect click on your clip scroll over to freeze and that's going to create our effect again go ahead and continue to do what we just did until your next movement, which is for me as I move away here. And as you can see here, we're at the portion where I start to move away from my subject. So I'm gonna stop right there. Now what you need to do is go into your, and zoom into your timeline and find all those portions that the camera is still. You can see here, if I move my timeline back and forth over the clip to the side of it, you can see that there's movement and the one before there's no movement. Now, all of these are gonna be the same length, so you'll see and get used to how to identify these 0.1 second frames. So now all you do to apply your anime effect is you click on your still frame, your freeze frame, go to style, and then scroll over to AI painting. Now this gives us four options, JP anime, dreamy anime, cat, and muscle man. Now my personal favorites are JP anime and cat. So if I go ahead and click on JP anime, you'll see that it'll generate this anime effect. And sometimes it doesn't do a great job. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cat and see what that does. Once you're happy with what it's chosen, go ahead and click the tick. Now what we need to do is delete this frame in between our still frames. So go ahead and click on the frame and click delete. Now what that's done is it's put two still frames next to each other. The first one with the anime effect and the second one that doesn't have the anime effect. On the second one, do exactly what we just did. Click on your still freeze frame, go over to AI painting and choose the anime effect that you wanna choose. Now it's nice to change between, now it's, <laughs> it's made my girlfriend a man, which is not something that I wanna do. So let's go ahead and try dreamy anime. Oh, that looks super, super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and click that check. Go to that frame that we're not using, click on it and click delete. Now we've got our first frame, our second freeze frame, and our third. Now I'm gonna do this for all of those freeze frames that we just made. And there we go, guys, we've done our first section. And if I just play this through, you'll see that we get this cool effect uh, that changes as the camera changes. Now, as we're moving away from our subject, I'm gonna leave that portion open, much like the first part until I'm nearing that stool point. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there and click on my video clip scroll over and do exactly what we just did click freeze drag that right over to 0.1 and continue doing this all right once you've completed your video go ahead to the top and click 4k and then the export button the arrow that's going to export our video into one file once it's done click the done button go ahead and make a new project and import that video that we just made well done guys, we are now on section three, which is speed ramping. I cannot wait to show you this. So my general rule of thumb is to speed ramp wherever I'm doing movement that doesn't have the anime animation. So you can see in the beginning here, she takes a step. So I wanna just delete this front half, delete that small clip. And then once she starts moving here, I'm gonna speed ramp this faster and then she's gonna do all the anime changing and then I'm gonna speed ramp this part. How you speed ramp is you click on your clip, go to speed, go to curve, go custom and click edit. And this is where we're gonna make our custom speed ramp. Add a beat as we start moving and that's gonna be faster. And then I'm gonna add another beat just before the anime effect starts. And then I'm gonna add a beat right before that. So in that middle beat, I'm gonna drag it up. That's it. I'm gonna drag this middle one up so that speeds up our 
zoom in and if I just play that you'll see here. And I'm going to do the beats for the rest of our timeline. So this is my graph of how my speed ramping looks. Once you're happy with that, click the check mark, click the check again, and I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 4K and export. Create a new project and well done, you're at step four, motion blur. Go ahead and import that video that we just made, which is 12 seconds long now. Click on your clip, swipe all the way right to motion blur and drag that blur up. For this, I've gone with 45 and 20. Go ahead and click the check mark. And that's gonna apply motion blur to all the motion in your animation. And once you're done with that, go ahead and leave it in 1080p for social media export and click that export button. That's exactly how you do it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop me with a like, subscribe to the channel for more amazing guides on CapCut and Final Cut. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.